Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Marika Vakisa. I am from Ethiopia. My uh, DT is a um, researcher in Bakor Qatar Engineering Research Center. Today I uh, wanted to show you how to design elbow fittings, uh, elbow fitting parts by using Katia software. So first start mechanical design, then click on part design. So while you have uh, did this, uh, it, it, it asks to give the name of the part you want to design. So say it fitting, fitting. So okay, this is the sketch workbench. Select XY plane and uh, click the sketch tool from sketch toolbars. Then from profile lines, so the, I, I will select the circle. Okay. Uh, this is a sketch uh, a constraint a toolbar or the dimension tool. Make this 84. And again, another circle at the top of the previous uh, previously a uh, sketch circle and again one smaller circle is needed so uh, give the dimension to the two circle this is about 40 or zero okay let me give first to the internal parts this is 20 and this is 60, 60, not 60, 40. So, and again, the center point from the origin is about 60 millimeter. Use bisect line from blind profiles, bisect this circle with this. And again, this with this, sorry, the bisect line is not selected. This, so control and select this all. Mirror it about the horizontal axis. Okay, now. These are this is the operator which is quick trim. Double click, trim this, 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 and again this part. Okay, so when uh, our sketch is uh, fully dimensioned or uh, fully constrained, it was changed to uh, deep green then exit so this uh, feature is a skate based feature toolbars so from this select part my part length is, is about 10 million so and again select the yz plane in the sketch select profile line because uh, it, it gives a Continuous line, no need of uh, frequent clicking. That's it. Give the dimension to these lines. The height of this is about 60. And again, the length of this is about the same as the previous. And uh, corner this okay. The uh, radius of this curve is 60. Now exit the workbench and again select this face and uh, Select the tool uh, sketch tool. So again, another circle is needed. 
one and again this is uh, to, to make the hollow section uh, of uh, the, our elbow fitting give the dimension to the circle this is 60 okay this is about 72 now we have finished and uh, exit the sketch then after we made this and uh, select the sketch uh, the operators or the feature uh, toolbars rip okay the profile line is uh, selected because it is the last uh, sketch we have made and uh, now uh, the one left is a curve line select the curve line it suggests us to, to select it says no selection so this is our curve line and okay so this is our elbow and again this part must be a sketch on this make it zoom out right click copy this face and paste it okay again select this face and the sketch fit in all circle the circle must be sketched here give the dimension this circle is concentric with this curve or arc the dimension is okay 60 okay it is by default it is 60 and uh, again another circle the dimension of this circle is about 54 uh, so exit the sketch okay sorry this is not required my uh, intention is to to, to uh, make the hollow so select pocket okay now uh, this part is left select sketch toolbar drag it down circle sixty exit pocket okay this is all about uh, fitting uh, parts it was designed as we as you see it is very simple so for uh, other information if it is released on this channel subscribe my channel uh, to support educational uh, activities thank you for attending and uh, thank you very much